So what we're looking at here is a 2011 Winnebago Journey. The model is 39N. It's a bunk model, but don't let that uh, don't let that make you think that there's a whole lot of space dedicated to these bunks. They're very unintrusive, and uh, they could just as easily be used for storage. <clears throat> this is a they don't make the journeys like this anymore. It's got the paint striping to match on the ends of the slide out. This one has stainless steel rocker trim all along the bottom. It's got a 340 diesel Cummins in the back on a Freightliner chassis, roof ladder, camera, slide toppers, four support arms for the hydraulic slide. So no shortage of strength there. Go around to the front, you see the side view cameras. Nice big one piece windshield, no cracks. Uh, this was this was uh, always looked after by the previous owner who owns a trucking company. So he did all the maintenance and detailing himself. And you can tell this coach was extremely well looked after. The only slide on the door side is the bed. And the bed is uh, it's a lift bed. I'll do a closer walkthrough of the storage in a, in a separate video. I want to show the, the outside and the inside of this one. Electric step cover. Seats are in fantastic condition. This is a 10, 11, that's a big 12 production years old now, this coach. And usually you'll see some, see some wear. There's a little bit of sun fade there, but no, uh, no frayed material at all. There's your leveling, analog dash, of course, your, your uh, camera display. Looking up at the front, got the cherry cabinetry, Jensen TV there, and the kitchen is at the front in this one. So I'm in the driver's seat now. I'll just give you a scan of the coach. Four door gas electric Nor, I believe that's a Nor cold fridge booth dinette so that converts to a bed this uh this sofa here is a jackknife sofa which goes flat and this one here i believe is an air mattress but at the very least it's a trifold sofa bed so you can sleep two there call that one call this a kid and then you've got the main bed in the back tv here I'll show you what it looks like from the middle back Tile floor, lots of storage, barreled roof, which is nice, the rain runs off. And here, you wouldn't even know there was bunks in there if you didn't. So there's two single bunks, and each bunk has its own TV, uh, wireless headphones for both. They just fit in the little storage there windows in each lights in each and yeah and if you're not using them for sleeping i would say bunks make for great closets now we're into the master bedroom so you've got your tv and media here chest of drawers storage there wardrobe there's the bed it's in the up position right now the bed has to be up for the slide to come in but then of course it goes down for for sleeping and then the bathroom we totally missed but it's a really nice bathroom spacious lots of room on either side of the toilet vanity you're not going to see me in there oh well, maybe you will like the Hollywood lights, eh? Big medicine cabinet there. Sink here. Another mirror. And then a nice big shower. That's a radius shower. So I'm 5'10". I know a guy who's interested in this, who's about seven feet tall. And uh, 
he'll he'll be able to fit in there no problem okay i'll do one more quick scan bedroom that is a king size bed east west so get in and out your own side good amount of space there nice big wardrobe so there's no shortage of storage just a 39 foot right so it's a it's a good size coach and it's a walk-through bath of course so i'll go back through this way plenty of room for the door to open between there and the sofa a little swing around. This coach is in fantastic condition. There's a little sensor there for the. We'll have two furnaces, two air conditioners. Yeah, no leaks, no soft spots. Exterior paint looks great. Nice blue dinette. Oh, six minutes. I'll get this up on YouTube.